when I started working with inflatables, um, my interest was in these spheres, and the spheres are, um, they're reminiscent of bodies, but my work has always been more abstract and, um, and large scale. I came to, you know, believe that these pieces uh, and these kind of giant braids could bring together the idea of the goddess, which is this very fecund creature, and a maiden, which is, you know, not as perhaps uh, about fertility, but part of the ancient gesture of, of these porches. As a space of transition, uh, as a kind of liminal space between private and public space. The thing I wanted to do here was push myself to create something that was not only uncomfortable for me, but maybe even unpleasant and um, not pretty. And to kind of think about why I think about certain sounds as attractive or unattractive. What I did was invite several artists who are based in Chicago to create recordings that explored breath, and that was the only direction I gave them. I like to set very loose boundaries. And I think it's the best way when exploring kind of themes like the body to kind of get the biggest range in terms of audio. I don't, I don't want it to be um, a given, you know. It's not a given. It's something maybe, you know, they, maybe they haven't thought of it before. They haven't seen it. They don't know quite what to do with it.